Welcome to Cadence Design Systems, point-wise tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use a feature or demonstrate a technique in just a few minutes. Today we're talking about the Boundaries tab of Automatic Surface Mesh. Before we really get going on this example, I want to make a point that I've got a couple surfaces that I call upper and a couple surfaces that I call lower. Now with that said, let's grab the model and go to Create Automatic Surface Mesh. We're going to click over here to the Boundaries tab, which didn't exist in previous versions, but it does now in 18.5, and you'll notice that there's four default buckets that edges get thrown into. If I want to see which edges go in which, I can click any one of these, and I can see the number. The type for curvature is angle, and then the type for convex and concave is max aspect ratio, and these are the values. These cannot be changed because they're the defaults. Now, what's new with 18.5 is that we can create our own. So I can use the GUI to select specific edges, click this box, and assign them. And then I can set the type, whether I want it to be angle or max aspect ratio, and set the value, say 23, and that's been assigned. We can delete it by clicking the delete button. But we don't name edges on quilts, so if we wanted to script this sort of thing, how could we handle it? Well, I'll click and add a new one. I'll select it, and this time I'll come down here to the patterns and create A. Since we don't name quilt edges, we'll need to name the quilts on either side of an edge. You remember I had an upper and a lower that I can specify the edges between them. Now, going further, I can choose whether this is an additive or a subtractive operation. I can further specify whether it will have no classification, have a curvature, be concave, or convex. I can click Save, and I can see that it automatically grabs these two edges. These are the edges between the upper and lower quilts that I pointed out previous. After creating the patterns, we have these nifty little icons that let you know what kind of quilt boundaries are available to be selected for that pattern. So. With the one we selected, we left everything checked, so all of these icons are present. I can change the type, enter a value, click over to global, and create surface mesh, and this will honor the settings I selected and put in. If you like this video, be sure to click the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. If you have any questions or comments, drop us a line down below, or connect with us on LinkedIn which is in the description. Thank you all. Have a pleasant Tuesday.